I'm gonna be drafting so much fucking Vintage Cube. I think I'm supposed to deck Faden over Mox Diamond. Give me the deck! The Elementals with Evoke? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had uh, the white one earlier. It was pretty sweet. Trop. I think I would take the Mana Dork over the Trop if I was taking a green card. I don't really like picking fixing early. I prefer to like have a direction, have a reason for fixing. A reason for the season. Let's grab this Uro. Uro seems good with deck fading, huh? Fill up the graveyard. Copperline Gorge? Are we rug now? Are we officially rug colors? I think so. These are some pretty good cards we got here. The other options are like Hydroid or Through the Breach. I'm not a big fan of taking Show and Tell, especially not early. Reman? Reman's Dece. Let's do a rug control thing. We could take Oracle in between Oracle and Uro, like just like play 18, 19 lands. I think Reman's sweet though. Do I want a Land of War Elves? Do I want a Sower? Sower's a little bit more controlling. Land of War Elves could, like, potentially let me Uro or deck turn two. It's not super likely, but it could happen. It's no Grids of Paradise. Grids of Paradise or Goose would be better here. Could play Wall of Blossoms. That's not even that crazy. Just have it blocked for the deck Faden and stuff. Narset? Narset's kinda hot. Surge is kinda hot too. Faces for row and puts a card in the graveyard. We kinda have an obnoxious three drop theme going on though, so I think Narset makes a lot of sense. Ooh, breeding pool. We could take Deceiver in case we end up twin. We could take Stormcrawler in case we get like Recall or something. Hello, Trap Wheel. There's still some good cards in there for us too. There's like Miscalc and shit. I think I'm gonna grab one of these Signets. I'm just not really quite sure which one. I guess we have a double blue card here. Uro is double green and double blue, but Land of War Elves is producing green, so I guess we'll take the Signet. These are his Signet. Hey, Krasis. Yeah, right now we're basically splashing deck Faden. We could just end up being straight blue green. This fucking one fucking mosquito <laughs> is fucking with me. I'm being fucked with here. <laughs> we could take the Grist, just in case we end up soul time. Grist is sweet. Just open twin. Yeah, it all makes sense if I open twin. Rule signet's dope. I don't hate an upheaval. Crater of fucking murders people. Do I want Crater of here? We're not really a hoof deck, right? We're like sort of a controlling type deck. It's like a grind through sludge thing. I think I'm supposed to take the Gruel Signet. But it's possible that like upheaval's better. 
more important, rather. We almost slammed the upheaval. Yeah, alright. Since he said so. I like the Chandra a lot. I like Elder Gargaroth a lot. It's like basically another Uro. I like this Ignoble Hire card. So I don't think we're a Teleron Academy deck. We could take Sylvan Library, we could take Twister. And Twister does un un undo some of our Uro, you know, filling up our graveyard. And we could also take Coalition Relic or Glenelendra. I think this is actually a really good Glenelendra deck. I'm gonna take the Glen. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Gotta have the control for the control deck, right? We can at least have a, a control card in there. Shark Typhoon looks great. Treachery, Teferi. Mirari's Wake, Lotus Cobra, Impulse. I don't think this is a Duretti deck. And we don't have, like, Tinker for Blightsteel or whatever. I think Treachery makes the most sense. We don't have, like, a ton of answers to creatures right now, so Treachery would help shore that up. Teferi would, like... fit the theme of, like, really obnoxious, overpowered three drops. Spellseeker only gets remand right now. It's not a very good Spellseeker. The Signet is, like, not the best Signet. It fixes for Dak Faden, but it's not good otherwise. Let's take Spellseeker just in case. Or maybe take the Dragon. The Double Red might be iffy, but we do have a Gruul Signet. And the Hierarch. Hello. Yeah, I think we're more of a mana drain deck than a cryptic deck. I think Boulder great here. Would he talk to his own person? Oh shit, what up? Give him a mask. And he will. Go on Golos? I think I want Golos. Hey Torvac MOS, thanks for the 41 months. Oh, thanks for the reminder to eat some butt. I'll get on that. I think I'm gonna throw the Savannah in here for the Golos. And then we just need a Black Duel to actually activate it. Yeah, like that. Twister or Eternal Witness? It's starting to look like a really good Eternal Witness deck. I feel like we don't really have the fast mana for a time twister. We don't have like a bunch of moxes and stuff to make it truly busted. I'm gonna take the witness. Twist plus Narset. That is a combo. You're not wrong. That is a combo. Is it a late twister? Yeah, but not every blue deck wants it. I feel like Channel makes the deck worse. Channel into Crasis is funny, but I don't know if it's like necessarily good. I think I want I think I want the Botanical Sanctum. It's like either that or the Jace for me. The Jace Prince Prodigy. I don't think this is an ancient tomb deck. Consecrated Sphinx also an option. But we kinda have that part of the deck covered already. I guess if Trop is willing, Sanctum's gonna come back, right? Let's grab, let's grab Jace. Hey, Wincon. Awesome. Leobold almost worth splashing. Hey, Webbledon, thanks for the sub, thanks for 24 months. You're very welcome, you're very welcome for the streams. Ignoble Hierarch is a great card for this cube. You're not wrong. 
Well, this pack's hot. So Misty's nice, Stomping Ground's nice, Solemn is nice. God, there's so much here. There's so much good stuff. Do we have enough playables? We're pretty good on playables. I think I'm supposed to take the Misty. There's Karn, too. I'll be surprised if I don't wheel some kind of a playable out of this pack. Yeah, so Fastbound, Fastbound doesn't really work here. If we take in the draw seven, it would look a little bit better. But even then, I want like multiple things that work well with Fastbound. So even that wouldn't quite do it. If you have like, yeah, if we take in the upheaval, if we take in the draw seven, then the Fastbound would look a little bit better. But as is, I think I'm gonna grab Sheldock Isle out of this pack. Shellbox a great one. I think I like Force Negation here. The other options are Tyler's Tracker, Mirror Battlesphere, and Karn. But I really like this Force. There's so much busted shit going on in Vintage Cube, so just being able to be like, no. And people like put so much into it, right? They put so much fast mana into their nonsense. They kind of like blow their wad, and so if you encounter them, a lot of times that's just the game. So commit to memory. Memory, like commit has like a control is a controlling card that plays like pretty well with our game plan. But then memory is also a combo with Narset. That said, there's also a Scalding Tarn here, and Scalding Tarn actually fixes for red, unlike Misty. So I think I'm gonna grab the Tarn, but commit to memory is very tempting. Oh shit! What up? Oh shit! What up? Oh hey, Splinter Twin. Well now I feel like a fucking genius. Hey BK Dash, thanks for the ten months there. So we already have a Dak Faden, but I still kind of want to grab this Skydiver. The other option is like Firebolt or Thrag Tusk to like shore up aggro. I think versus aggro we're just going to like lean on Uro really hard and hope that that's fine. Yeah, just get Twin exactly. Do we cut the Mind Flavor? We have two uh, fetches for the Excavator now. I don't think that's quite enough, but it does play well with like the Dak Fade and Loot too. I think I'm gonna grab the Abraid. I think Abraid's really good. And now we can throw Batter Skull in the sideboard if we want to, or we can play Brainstorm. We have two fetches. Does anything else play with Brainstorm? The Narset, the Narset down tick. I think Batter Skull for the sideboard's better. Oh man, the Solemn Wheel, and we got a car in here. Let's take Solemn. Brainstorm Sheldock. Yeah, I guess that's a thing. Wow, and the Commit to Memory. I don't think Wall Blossoms is gonna make the cut. Actually, I actually have to go to the bathroom. We can go empty my bladder, go get some water. All right, all right, all right. Hey, thanks for hanging out, folks. Thanks for waiting for me. Um. I kinda like cutting Devoted Druid. Like, we don't actually need that much green mana ever, right? Like, the Land of War Elves gives you, like, an off chance of playing, like, Uro or something on turn two, so it seems a lot better to me, curve wise. And then I just need, like, one more cut here. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe the Skydiver becomes a sideboard card. We have deck. Faden and a braid to answer artifacts. How can people answer that fast? Oh, for trivia? Some people live literally on Twitch's ass. They're just like in the Twitch building, right next to the servers. They see everything like 30 seconds sooner. 
They're like literally Googling the answers before you even see the question. Not really, but... The dragon? I think I like the dragon. Flying attacker makes it easier to activate Golos. Yeah, let's have the Skydiver be a sideboard card. Azoria Signet? Azoria Signet could be a cut. I think I like it though. Turn Witness is good too. We have a couple of good cards chilling in the sideboard. How many green sources for turn one mana dork is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, actually. Eight's not that terrible, is it? And then blue sources would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Which is pretty good. We have one more from these already signet. And then the red sources seem like this is too few. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We have four red sources, not kind of the real signet. Yeah, I think we need to drum up some more red sources somehow. Maybe like minus two blue sources, plus two red, and call it a day. Yeah, there's an ignoble hierarch in front of you, Shino him. It's a cube list though, so we're not playing constructed here. The Temple Garden for Golos. Well, we already have Savannah, which is fetchable. And I want to make sure I have the, the one basic for Solomon and stuff. Yeah, I think this deck is good, but we'll see, huh? We'll see. I like how we have some nice sideboard options. We can bring in, like, Batter Skull, Wall of Blossoms against Aggro. Thieving Sky, a Skydiver against, like, Super Artifact Matters decks. Mind Slaver and Eternal Witness can be good, like, anti-control cards. Could even consider it Fairy Splash. Oh, you know what track I want to listen to? I had this song stuck in my head like all last night. Two streams a day? Just one stream. Or a longer one. I do that sometimes. Jam some vintage cube while the while the hype is hot. Hey, an opponent. The song sounds evil. Yeah, kind of. The singer's got a, a very Dio vibe. Are we activating Golos? We can. We certainly can. Fairly free, too. We've got like one Savannah, one Bayou. Updates significant? Yeah, I think they were significant. Yeah, 
It wasn't like a extreme overhaul or anything. But there's some pretty important cards they added. Probably just making it a 4 4 this turn. Oh, they're discarding because they whipped down their, their land drop. But they could have played Trick and Mage. Interesting. So maybe they're holding up a uh, Mana Drain of their own. Time to start sandbagging lands for the Jays, huh? already under some pressure. I don't know if I even play this bribery. The artist? The artist is Astral Doors. Astral Space Doors. I've been listening to a lot of them lately. Is kind of their answer. Yeah, if they don't have shit. I already told you I thought they were holding up counters. So you play the bribery and then they counter, and now, like, what? Are you lettering their counter resolve or are you fighting over the bribery? I think I'd rather chill. Do I like Grid of Van Fleet? I do. Checked out Sabrosa now. If you want me to check out something, the best way to make sure that I do is to like I like I don't have a very good memory, especially for names. And I usually stream for like a decent chunk of time, so stuff kind of blurs together. But if you ping me on uh, on Twitter or my Discord or you know something. I'm way more likely to actually check something out. Looks like they're trying to do storm stuff over there. This is fine. This is fine. You don't have the medias? Okay. Well, I'll open a tab, and now there'll be a chance that I remember. Check it out later.
I think they were just gonna make some empty the Warren's tokens, was their plan. Let's see. I think bribery is coming out. Mind Sleeper's hot. Our counters are hot. Eternal Witness rebuying uh, counter spells is good. Skydiver would have been good that game. We just would have like stolen a signet instead of countering it. Or breeding it rather. I do kind of like the Mind Slaver plan. I just don't know what you would cut for it, right? The Mind Slaver. Maybe the Commit to Memory. Commit to Memory like, needs Narset, and Narset's already pretty good, pretty good by its own. Oh, I was gonna cut the Bribery. I cut Treachery. Oh, fuck both those cards. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Lone Silver Wolf thinks the 34 months. I want to send the sand bank. It's a bit slow. A mm, bit on the slow side. Good cards. That was better. Mint Memory seems like a sweet one to have under Shell.com. Vintage Cube, also known as the only place you can open a dragon, or a ragavan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't have double blue for mana drain. We do have a Deceiver Exarch, which can hopefully eat a ragavan here, but we'll see. We'll see. Dragon hitting is like really bad for us here. It makes treasure for the Urza and stuff. Are they gonna play my dragon? Is that what is that what's happening here? It's fucked up. Noble Hierarch still wouldn't let me mana drain. Still be a smidge short. Draw a couple here. Oh, 
little light on blue sources, aren't we? The Krasis can get in front of the dragon if that's the thing we want to do. I don't know if that's the thing that we want to do. The dragon only serves by itself, then yeah, definitely. Construct. We could actually steal the Construct. Probably better to run out the Glen. They can tap the Construct in response to deck stealing it, even if it was on time. Game. Shelldark mana. So we deck steal something. I think I want to leave the Glen activation up though. That's probably better, huh? Probably a better play. I was hoping they would just be like spinning hers or something. But well, they are! Sweet. I'm supposed to counter that. These cards are pretty good. Looks like they're going for another Urza spin. Tapping con the Construct here. Finding a Chain Lightning, which would or ordinarily not be amazing here, but we only, only have one red up, not two, so we can't reflect it. So upset right now. Stack fade never. This card strike's starting to get a little, a little out of control, huh? Do you have any tips for piloting storm? Yeah. When you play your tendrils, ideally make sure it kills them, huh? Yeah, I can't coach you through your storm games, unfortunately. A <laughs> little, little occupied. Deck, yeah. Well, that all happens. Oh man, Earl would have been so good here. Good here. Just a smidge amazing. I 
I agree that the opponent should not cast the Euro. <laughs> and they didn't. Fuck. Do I play my land first? How many double blue cards are left in the deck? I guess mana drain and stuff gets shuffled in. Yeah, I think I don't play the forest. But maybe I play this land of War Elves. Oh, I can't memory. Hmm. Is this even worth doing right now, then? Probably not. <laughs> well, I guess I'm already pock committed. Let's put the Urza on top of their library. I was hoping to use the, uh, um, all this colorless mana I had floating. I guess that's not happening here. I could just say no and then it wouldn't do anything. Yeah. Slaver Mirror here. They get to serve with the dorks into their creatures, and then I lose the Ignoble and the Land of War Elves. It's kind of a bummer. Are they tapping me out, or are they flashing back memory? All right. <laughs> Just be dead, right? Like they get to untap and use their mana first. Hey, Madam Medes, thanks for the sob, thanks for the 28 months. Trade here is interesting. Because they can eat the land of world straight up. Maybe they think the construct is worth. Yeah, cycling shark, the shark does nothing. It just give them less mana. Only they drew something that they wanted to cast here. Yeah, they did make themselves take one. They could have tapped Lenore Elves for mana. I don't think the white total is going to matter though. So great. Ragavan whiffed a bunch too. They hit like a bunch of lands off the top earlier. Losing the Euro is still the, the most brutal thing. Like, you look at my exiled cards here. It's like three lands, an Euro, and a Dank. Citadel, sure. Is 
Is Ragavan a better thief than Dank? I mean, if it gets you to hit you six times, <laughs> eventually it's gonna hit something good. Most decks can probably handle a Savannah Alliance at some point. Not this deck, but most decks. thinking here for a sec. This isn't the stone fucking worst thing ever. We're giving them another turn with the deck fade and loot. Instead of like attacking with the gold span dragon here. I think that would run into more shit. It is scary to leave them with Emrain, you know, when they have Mind Slaver in the graveyard. But, I mean, Bolas the Citadel is also scary. Uh, sure. In fact, not this turn. Basically, have their whole deck to work with at this point. Nine cards remaining. It's a lot of cards. Do you have a combo? Yeah, there's just plenty of twin in here somewhere. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> uh, they mind slavered me, I like fought my way back. Like, got to a spot where I thought I might be okay. New Mind Slaver! With a 1313! Alright. <laughs> Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Good luck countering this one. Yeah, Bribery and Treachery are both looking better, for sure. 
Game one, I thought they were like some weird storm dank, right? Like they're playing like rituals and things. I don't actually like it when people tell me to scoop bad. Even when it's phrased as a question. I'm not a fan. Don't recommend it. Yeah, so we get an extra turn after this Emrakul trigger. Which means that I have one more turn to draw a Splinter Twin for my Deceiver Exarch and win this game. And there's 14 cards left, and there's a lot of rebuys. Sharks are rebuying. Narset looks at like four cards. And that's why you don't concede. And that one, there's still game left. Fuck. <laughs> that would've been so juicy. That would've been so juicy if we'd drawn Twin here. Or like, one of our billion other cards that rebuys into Twin. Oh well. <laughs> it's so far down there. I did win the game four earlier, yeah. We uh we trophied that league, the game four league. Hey Rice J Rod, thanks for the sob, thanks for the twenty-one months. Yeah, commit memory still looks dope. Skydiver looks amazing still. What did I bring in? Oh, the Mind Slaver. I'm gonna cut the Mind Slaver. Hmm. I don't know what the last cut is. Maybe it's Golos. Maybe it's just actually Golos. Even though we can activate it. If you mind slaver yourself, nothing happens, yeah. What if what if there's two mind slaver activations? Like you have a mind slaver and the opponent has one and they target you and then you target yourself? Does it go to like timestamps then? Like whoever sacks last. It was a char game, Wolf King. As much as I like Golos. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This game looks great.
Resolves. She went up, and he chucked me, thanks for the seven months. I think, like, bidding this is Zoria's signet. Do I discard the remand or the force negation? I kind of like holding onto the treachery. Discarding remand feels real weird. But so, so does fitting, fitting uh, the force negation. I, I'm just gonna braid their, their emery. I'm gonna play my land and braid their emery. So let's discard Signet plus. We don't need to need to kill the Emery this turn, but I like it. Try this again. Try this whole tapping thing again. Next turn we can Dax steal the construct if you like. Let's let this happen. Hopefully this isn't super fucking wrong. too crazy with the Citadel. I think it actually goes very good for me. <laughs> I wanted to tap the Blossom Citadel for blue mana. They didn't let me. They didn't let it resolve. Greatest thief in the fucking multiverse, right there. Sweet fucking solo. Storms 
stole a castle? Yeah, a whole goddamn castle. He's like, look over there! You look back, there's just like a hole in the ground. I think we keep this. Force negation. Turn two signet into turn three DAC, or like just play a Jace. You mean a typo and it shames you? Yeah, you should feel shamed. My uh, my recommendation when you make like a minor, like a seemingly minor mistake like that, like a typo or, or like you play the wrong land on turn one or something. Really, you say good morning to someone, but it's like afternoon. Stuff like that. My advice for when you make like a seemingly innocent mistake is to never let it go. Hold all of those instances deep in your in your fucking person. And then every night before you go to sleep, relive them and agonize over them. Anyway, that's just what I do. It might not work for everybody, but... That's bad for me. <laughs> Once again, our Uro just gets like lost to time and space. I wonder if I played the Savannah, if they would have hit that. Probably not. God, life sucks. <laughs> Don't have my stupid blue source. It was like the best fucking blue source. plan again just because it lets me fit like one more island in here Ooh, hello there We might need a, um, a blue source so we can, like, bribery them and find something to deal with this ravine, because this ravine's going to get pretty nutty pretty quickly. Could, I, could run out this glen to block a bit. I think I'm going to dac loot is what I'm going to do here. Do I play a commander at all? Every once in a while. I built a mono black deck recently, but I haven't gotten to play it yet. Well, we have a really fucking good turn next turn, assuming we get to untap, assuming we're not just dead here. That was the nice thing about playing the Glen, is that we have two blockers, and it's a little harder for us to just dime. The new cards have impressed me in cube. Yeah, Ragavan's Dece. Versus Saga's good. Both seem like they're, like, almost meant for vintage cube, right?
Maybe they should be looting me for this treachery. So the best card is Nissa, who shakes the world. In terms of removal, they got Assassin's Trophy and Burst Lightning left, as well as Garakul in this fight, but Garakul in this isn't going to be able to answer Dragonlord to Tarka, which I believe is what I'm grabbing here. Just a little big, huh? Thundermaw would put me to one, yeah. What's a scary card to face while you're at 6 life? I'm not supposed to be serving. I'd like it a lot better if I could play this Glen too. Here actually would have been like Narset, right? Play Narset, <laughs> deck them. They just got the Siege Gang. Oh, the deck, uh, the deck actually mills it now. Because they played out their last card. Yeah, let's target them with the deck. And then just like dump our hand. And pass the turn. Mill 2 did do something. <laughs> Probably like milled them to Thunder Maw. <laughs> milled them to some other fucking wing condition. Dragonlord Atarka could have gotten the link. Actually, kind of mood for some green lung. Yeah, I wish this Dragonlord Atarka could have killed a, a real threat instead of a devoted druid or whatever.
Having my Uro in exile is like the worst fucking feeling. If it had been anywhere under other than the, the Shell Deck Isle, like this deck probably would have found it. Alright, deck. Uh, we have a gold dragon in here, right? Or did I bottom it off of something earlier? The treasure making dragon. I think that's like our only out to win this. We do not have a lightning bolt, no. Oh shit, that's kind of an option. Is it? Let's see. One, two, no, we would gain, we'd gain two life. That X Drinker. Alright, let's get my loot on. X Arc would buy a turn, that's true. The deck was juiced. It was already twin on the uh, uh, Dragon Lord Tarka would have been hilarious too. Just, like copy it, <laughs> murder their their hex drinker and then Ambrith or whatever. Have two blockers on their turn. Close game. Got us to one. I think Batter Skull comes in from what we saw. Eternal Witness is interesting. Yeah, let's just go like minus bat minus Golos plus Batter Skull. Do it like that. What do I think of Pernicious Steed? I think their curve goes a little too high for Pernicious Steed. They're not like super reliant on dorks and stuff. We have a few dorks ourselves. The Black Splash also isn't super free, right? We just have two black things. The Bayou and the Quagmire. We would be able to bring in the Pulse too, which would be nice. Most of our removal doesn't hit. Big old bargains, and they got a few of those. I'm thinking about cutting Narset for Eternal Witness. Maybe Plukranos? Plukranos is a chonker. Well, yeah, let's minus Narset plus Plukranos. Devoted Druid is a little vulnerable in comparison to a Signet. If you play a Signet and activate it, that's also like... It only costs one, whereas Devoted Druid's gonna cost two the turn you play it. And we don't have a ton of mana sinks. We have a few. We've got like Krasis. For the most part, we need like fixing and stuff. Fixing and disruption and the turn one tree speaker. Here to rock my world again. God, I hope this is relevant. The Shark Typhoon under the Shellock Isle. I hope, I hope that gets to happen. Yeah, Devoted Druid doesn't really fix, right? It just gives you more, more of the same. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Untouched Marlin. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 38 months there. Just super dead to the sex drinker. Okay. Oh shit, what up? Hey Goliath, thanks for the 26 months there. The 
Well, maybe we can draw like a treachery or some shit. Or bribery here. Just a bribery off the top. So we're probably not racing a Hex Drinker, but the Dragon gives me a chance. It gives me, like, a shot. At least I'm, like, doing something. So they have the, uh, either they boarded the seven mana dragon out or it's in their hand. And they have seven mana. So that's a fucking bummer. I'm gonna play assuming they boarded it out and just get like Thunder Maw and smack in for five here. Or not five, but ten rather. We could get Goldspan Dragon, and then have two of them play out Solemn. I don't think that does much for me, though. Slime could keep them off of it. Off the, uh, the seven drop, if it is in their hand. The main fire is new. I think that was boarded in against me. I don't think we saw it in the first game. Double gold span dragon could play the solemn, but I don't think playing the solemn does anything. They have trophy in hand, sure. Assuming it's still in post board. Right, that's what I was thinking. Maybe they boarded it out. I think that's our best hope right now. Is that they just straight up boarded it out. Holding the elf back here doesn't really do much. It, like, blocks a 1x. Yeah, I guess they boarded out a Tarka. Amazing. Is it, uh, is it my turn? <laughs> I 
I win! I win the match! Bribery doing some hard carrying. Holy shit. The Gold Spread Dragon was pretty clutch, too. It was, like, really fucking important that we did something that turn. If they don't play their 3-drop, if they just stone don't play their, um... Their mana rock there. If they just like spend their whole turn sinking into their thing, then I don't get to play the gold span, and they just like very easily murder me. But because they played out the coalition relic, we were able to drain, drain into dragon into stuff. It's kind of like the whole game. And let's dis. Can't be correct, right? There's, there's no way this is right. Why don't we cast the spell they cast? Well, what if they play a uh, Rotting Registar off their Dark Ritual? If they're just trying to dark ritual into a solemn, then I feel like my force negation was not worth a whelm. If they were trying to Dark Ritual into Lily on turn one, though, no, then we would have forced the Lily. Next time. Next time they lead on Dark Ritual in the same match, I'll let it resolve. I heard that they ended up having Mana Crypt anyway. I was hoping that countering their turn one play would buy me a little bit of time. back, but I think I should actually put this Liliana instead.
shuffling their way there on the Liana here. Maybe they don't care. It would be nice to have a uh, mana drain up here, but if we can fade a turn, then we should be in a really nice spot. Attack with a row, have drain up. Fuck. Well, hello. I think I'm just going to take the Glen out. And then I'm not going to play the Solemn because the Opposition Agent. I'd be giving them a land. Almost still worth playing. I'm just going to pass here. Could I share how to find it? Yep, the song is by Blind Summit. Blind space S-U-M-M-I-T. And here's a link to the YouTube. I can decline the search. Well, it does say you may search. Okay. No harm in chilling here either. Not like playing the solemn mount makes or breaks this board. Mana Crypt's doing work. Cube is indeed back. Sweet nonsense. I'm not quite in the trivia mood. What am I in the mood for? Do a raid on their end of turn. That's fine.
Arrow doing its sweet business. Hit them for one, why not? Two Glen attacks could combine with Mana Crypt really nicely. Pull the tr tr trigger on memory. The only way I pull the trigger on memory there is if I draw uh, Narset, which, god damn it. I just played it, I just beat this fucking card. I think I lost to it actually, but. It's an obnoxious one to, obnoxious one to face here. God, they get to play this Krasis for zero. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the crisis, if we draw the crisis like a turn later, like I think we just get to win, right? Because we gain a bunch of life, make a giant flyer, Thermical can no longer attack, that sort of thing. Oh, hello. Do attack with their own, gain three life. I don't think so. Yeah, let's just pass. Could make it just as like a 5-5. Five, five. And then if we draw a counter spell, we'll have mana for a counter spell. Instead of doing full size here. Looking for an answer to a shark. This game's turning into a real sweat. No, they got a thing. God damn it. If I uh, if I attacked with my DM Uro. I figured I'd be able to attack with it this 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 uh, after turn, but if I attacked with the damn Uro, I would have been up three life, and I wouldn't have had to play the shark uh, mid combat. I wasn't thinking about fractured loyalty like fucking specifically. <laughs> what a bummer. Okay, so we still have a dragon. We still have a dragon that can kill them from here, but now we need to rip again. Oh come on, deck. Yeah, I was asking just a bit too much, wasn't it? Fuck. Goal is to stay in here for sure. I like Eternal Witness, I like Mind Slaver. Why not like though? Maybe a braid, maybe a braid comes out. Emrakul? Emrakul's fucking bullshit. <laughs> God, I was so ahead. Still almost won that game. 
I think they had to ponder for the, the removal spell to hit. Mm -hmm. I do, do not think Marnarset's going to be bad on the play here, no. I think I like this. Eternal Witness is fighting with Earl a little bit in terms of graveyard resources. Signet instead, and I'd be into this hand. Yeah. Maybe we can top deck a Dak Faden or something for the turn two, or in a row. I think Misty's just gonna be grabbing a uh, Trop Goal. So we don't have to crack it. Or we can get Breeding Pool with it. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, correct. The opener didn't have any blue mana, which I did mention. Twist here. At least our lands tap for stuff. Hopefully they can edit crypt. They went to one last game. That was so brutal. The fractured identity on my Uro was like my least favorite thing in a while. Treachery. But just let me play the Narset on an empty board. Which I think I like doing here. We could also just cycle the Shark Typhoon, try and hit a land drop. I think I like the Narset. Might even find a Signet. Brutal Whiff. Yeah, I've almost tried to read more of my own cards than the opponent's um. The Elfal Strix not drawing a card. Thank you, Narset Passive. Real tempting to slam Shark Typhoon here, especially because the Fractured Sanity is already burned. Like, just jam it. Just... Probably correct. I 
Queen plus Solemn. Yeah, that would have played well into the removal, huh? Smack them here. With them being at 11, like hit them for 6, and they're at fucking 5. I think we know that they have Recurring Nightmare in hand, though, which can get back to the Ultimate Strix and block for them next turn. Or like Liliana could just do that, right? And then what, right? And then what? Then they would add a Mana Crypt. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should have hit them for 6. Oh my god. That's a good card. We keep the Narset around, they don't draw a card. It's kind of relevant. Like we sack the Shark here instead of the Narset. I think they should have attacked first. Then I lose a 2 2. Is it better to just like give them a. Let's give them a card. We're gonna mind save them anyway. Let's sack the Narset. Number 3, number 6. Here's a, hoping they have an answer to their own fucking Archon. Oh yeah, of course they have an answer. We knew about the recurring nightmare. Oh man, I won the flip. Yeah, so we Dark Ritual, Murderous Rider, their Archon, and then uh, Mind Twist them for the rest. And then they have nothing. That's why they're conceding here. Attack the zombie token into the 4 4. Don't need to leave with that. They did have a grip. Whew! That mind slaver. Holy shit. Skydiver taking mana crypt almost seems good. This match has been swingy as fuck. The swingy, this match has been swingier than fuck on a swing, on like a fucking sex swing. <clears throat> at sea, at sea no less. On turbulent waters! They have so much removal. I almost kind of want to cut the Jace. Like, minus Jace. Plus Skydiver or Breed or whatever. It's not actually that much for Skydiver. It's like literally just Mana Crypt, right? Alright, I'm gonna bring the Breed back in. I'm gonna keep this hand. And then hopefully we can mana drain sooner rather than later. Oh, 
Looks like they have mold. They have some cards that can make up for a mold pretty easy, though. Mind Twist being the scariest, maybe. So basic. Alright, come on, blue source. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about Skydiver stealing Baleful Strix. It's like one more reason. Hey, Summer Bump Gardener. Holy shit. Thanks for the $45 donation. That's generous as fuck. We'll drop some corns. Yeah, Super Bump Gardener says, I used to watch you all the time when I was broke. Sorry, you're going through some shit, man. Delete the gym, hit a, liar, uh, hit a lawyer, hire Facebook. That's a whole lot of advice wrapped up into one. Appreciate the donation. That was a reference to my divorce, no Schwartz. But yeah, we're not doing that. I guess the uh, I guess the uh, advice was to hit a lawyer, <laughs> not hire a lawyer. Hit one. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's a different thing. Whole different set of biscuits. Hey, Kaiser two two five. Thanks for the solving the twenty months there. Kaiser says much thanks. Been playing historic gabos since watching me the other night. Already up to diamond. Yeah, yeah. Goblin seems really good for grinding right now. It felt like it had like a really good matchup against the. The blue red brainstorm decks, of which there's like a ton of in historic. Uh, yep. I'm actually gonna let this resolve because that seems awesome. Your turn. Yeah, maybe you should have fetched a red source for the Splitting Twin. Maybe. If we get to untap with Glenn, then we might want to, like, Mana Drain plus, like, double Glenn activation. Possible. 
Unlikely, but possible. This was bad. I could have just like abraded them and then the edict gets their remaining card or whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. Cost one more to control magic, treachery? <laughs> Treachery has always been fucked up, even when creatures were supposedly worse. You love Ignoble Hire? Me too. I'm also a fan. Yay! Awesome. So that's three trophies. Three trophies, two, two, and ones. So nine. 13 and two. 13 and two on the day. That's some uh, some good fucking cubing, if I, if I do say so. One of the trophies was a stip, too. 